Hello everyone, Evan Scoresby here and welcome to today's training video. I'm actually going to show you how to change your name servers for your website domain in GoDaddy where you've registered your website domain and how to help uh, point that domain uh, to one of your add to action campaigns. Uh, this could be a campaign and a landing page that you created yourself or one that our landing page team has done for you and so the process is the same either way and so I'm just going to show it give you this quick step-by-step -step tutorial on how to change the name servers and how to get it to point to your done for you landing page or the one that you created so first and foremost you'll need to get log into your GoDaddy account and so just go to godaddy.com and right up here hit log in and here's you're going to put in your username or customer customer number and your password. So just uh, log in. <clears throat> and then what you'll want to do is you also want to log in to your Add to Action account. Now, um, not all of our PMI students have access to Add to Action. Um, if you do, if you know what Add to Action is, you know you know you have access to it okay so add to action.com and then you'll want to log into your account and this is just a, a resource that's provided uh, by PMI to build your own landing pages and squeeze pages and campaigns okay so here's all my campaigns that I have listed in here and for this purpose you know I'm gonna take one of these uh, product library campaigns that everybody has access to it's called conversion uh, copywriting conversion secrets and so what you'll want to do once you have a campaign set up in here uh, either if ones that you again you created or that we created for you you'll want to go to the campaign that you want to use the domain for okay and then right here where it says domain name you want to click right there and go to domain name okay and then this will pull up you know if you it gives you some options if you do want to buy a domain, but for this purpose, for this video, it's you're, I'm assuming that you already have your domain to use. So we're going to scroll down to the very bottom where it says use existing domain. Okay. And these are the name servers right here that we're going to be using. Okay. These two options right here. So we're going to go back to godaddy.com. And once we're logged into our account, we're going to highlight over our name right here and then we're going to select visit my account just select that and then it's going to pull up your domains you're going to choose this option right here you're going to hit this green launch button for your domains and this will pull up a list of all of the domains that you have purchased you know it could be one in there or it could be you know many like I have in here <laughs> I have a lot of domains so the one I'm using here is uh, for this particular product, CopywritingConversionSecrets.com, and I'm using that for my campaign. So it's very relevant for one to the product and campaign I'm promoting. And so here we go. You're going to just going to click right here into the campaign, into the domain. I'm sorry, and it's going to take you to the domain settings and you want to look for the one that says name servers right here name servers okay and you want to select this option where it says manage so manage name servers and it's automatically defaulted to the GoDaddy um, name servers but we're going to change that to some custom ones so we want to select this bullet point right here where it says custom and then we want to select this option where it says add name server so we'll click that and it will pull up an option where we can put in the name servers. So we go back here to edit my campaign in uh, the add to action. And these are the name servers. So we just, uh, we can highlight this. We can right click and copy. And then we can just take it back over here to GoDaddy and put our cursor in the top one. Right click and paste. And then we just do the same thing for the second name server. So we'll just highlight it, copy it, go back to our, don't, our GoDaddy, and right click and paste. 
and then we just simply add uh, select OK. All right, so now it's confirming it here. These are the name servers that we're going to put in here. So this is telling GoDaddy to point to tell GoDaddy that we're, you know, we have our domain purchased with you, but I'm choosing to host it somewhere else. And that's with add to action. And then I'll just hit save. And it says changes will take effect in a few moments. It could take a few moments, but I've seen it take anywhere up to 24 hours. So it might not work right away. So now that we've got that done, we need to tell our add to action campaign which domain to, to use. So right here at the top in uh, domain details, I'm going to highlight the actual domain right here. Okay. And then I'm going to right click and copy that. Then I'm going to go back to add to action and right here where it says use existing domain, this is where I'm going to put it. So I put my cursor in there, right click, paste. So copywriting conversionsecrets.com when I'm simply just going to hit save this domain. Just like that. So once that's done, I am finished. That's all I have to do. So just for example, what this will do, if you notice, when you preview the campaign here, it has this raw URL from add to action. It has add to action.com forward slash and then a whole bunch of letters and numbers, right? Not very pretty looking. So that's why it's nice to have your own specific domain for your page. So what's going to happen here when I go to this campaign, once it's complete, when I hit preview, it hasn't propagated yet in the system, but instead of this add to action.com URL, it's actually going to say copywritingconversionsecrets.com. And so it's just going to be very relevant to the offer at hand. Okay. So I just wanted to show that to you. Hope you found the value out of that. And this is an effort to, you know, direct you to a video to show you how to do this firsthand instead of trying to do it over the phone with you and taking up valuable coaching time where we could be spending on strategy and working on some other items to help you make money. So, you know, this is just an effort to do that. Hope you found value. Please leave a comment below. Love to hear from you. And with that being said, remember you have the choice to make it a great day. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.